Faith CDC is the Faith Farms and the Orchard, but we're not just involved in that. It's kind of a revitalization of this total area. Instead of having a blighted home just sitting empty, you're actually growing something. And you're growing it the way God intended it, organically. You're giving back something back to the community. <laughs> farm is actually almost one acre. We have four volunteers that are here every day. As far as what we grow, we have onions, tomatoes, we have squash, we have zucchini, we have melons, we do fresh organic eggs, and then of course we have our organic honey. Well, those are some of the things that we grow, and I'm sure I'm missing something. We really group started growing this to just, help, just to help our community. We know that Gary is a blighted community. We know that we have a lot of things going on, but we really feel in our heart that this is something that can uplift everybody. We have faith that this can help you revitalize our community. The land was given to us by the city of Gary. This land had houses on it. And because we were in such a blighted community, there was no one living in these houses. So we needed to be able to get rid of the houses and be able to cultivate the land. So the city of Gary gave us the land, tore down the houses, and we cultivated the land so that it could be uh, uh, safe for growing. In the first year, we actually grew about 10,000 pounds of food. So but from that point on, that's what we've been doing every year. This year, we decided to step it up even more with the CSA boxes. And in those boxes, you got a whole variety of vegetables, and there's too many for me to name because we actually use Faith Farms Vegetable, and we worked with other local farmers to complete the boxes. So we did, uh, had a variety, a myriad of different vegetables and fruits in the boxes. If anyone wants to get involved, we're always looking for volunteers. Always looking for volunteers. I'm a volunteer. I've been here five years. It's been in, in, in uh, existence six years. I wasn't a farmer. I wasn't a gardener. I was a nurse by trade. I was scared of bees, I was scared of bugs, I was scared of everything. But since I've been out here, it's been so peaceful, it gives you a peace of mind to know that you're doing something for your community, as well as having your own peace of mind.